the mind and its aspects. We started to play around with that last week where we spoke and played with the negative, the positive and the neutral mind. And from the combinations that these three things do in regards to other aspects of the mind, in regards to menace, in regards to ahamka, which is the ego, in regards to buddhi, which is our real pure state, that we, they combine to create different aspects, different ways that we interact with the world. So from now, for the next nine weeks, we're going to be playing with each one aspect each week. So this week is called the Defender, and it's exactly that. It's the aspect of yourself that comes out to play when you need to take a stance and say no, that's not right. And as you can imagine, that uses the negative mind. It's also very much in line with menace. Menace is the part of our mind. It's not really our mind, it's the, it is the impersonal mind. So everyone kind of has these overarching aspects of their minds that come down. So we talk about our ego, but the thing is, it's not our ego. Ahamka is just ego. And it just filters in to our mind and does what it does. Which is nice to have that realization because it's not your ego and you're not to get rid of your ego because it's there and we need it. Because if we don't have ego, then there's three aspects that we can't even use. So, and menace is one of these. Menace is the real instinctual doing mind. It's what drives the car when you're busy planning about your holidays. Okay. And menace is what steps up when action needs to happen. So that's what the defender does. It risks assists, which is what the negative mind does. It assesses all the risks and it makes sure you're safe and it then puts into place the actions that need to be put into place to ensure your safety. And that's a pretty nice kind of aspect of the mind to have. So we're going to play around with the Defender tonight so that you can understand the power that is behind that. Beautiful. So let's place our hands on our knees, palms facing up. Mm. Closing your eyes, dropping into the body. Feeling the sit bones pushing down into the earth. Feeling that connection and that support beneath you. And become aware of the crown of your head and reach up towards the heavens. With your eyes rolled up and into the third eye chakra, feel expansive and vast. And bring your hands together and start to rub them. And press palm to palm and place your thumbs in at the middle of the chest and drop into the heart space. And take a few deep breaths within the center of your being to become grounded and connected. Then prepare to open the class with three rounds of Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Allowing the vibration of the mantra to travel through every fibre of your being. Inhale to chant. Om.
Take your hands and exhale. And inhale and suspend the breath while the intention is set. May I be comfortable in expressing my truth when it is keeping me safe, protected, and in line with the honesty of who I am. May this happen more than ever before for the benefit of all. And exhale. And then seal it in with three rounds of Arga Renne Argarename, Chikarkarename, Sakarename, Sirgurudeli Nename, Argarename, Chikarkarename, Sakarename, Sirgurudeli Nename, Argarename, Chikarkarename, Sakarename, Sirgurudeli Nename. Inhale, suspend, keeping your hands in prayer position, reaching them all the way up to spirit. And then exhale, sweeping your hands either side of the body, radiating out your light and your aura, keeping your palms facing up. Relaxing the back of the hands on the earth. And just breathe.